So here we are. We are back. The stock is at 301. Um, you know, you can see this is a, this is how it was on Friday, and this is it today. Very choppy today. Very, very choppy. Uh, very toppy. You know, you could some might call this a head and shoulders. You have the left shoulder, the head, and now the right shoulder. And all it needs to do is take this out of 290, and you have a clear path to 270 and 250. And then there's some support back here at 240. Um, and, you know, from when it, when it held up on Friday, you know, there's some support here at, at 225 ish. Um, so I guess my goal would be to cover at 225 ish. Um, and I'd make 60 cents a share. I mean, that's. Uh, I really don't want this to crash. You know. I really, 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 really don't want this to crash today. Uh, if I make 60 cents a share, you know, at 220, uh, I can't even do it. I won't even be able to cover, you know. So I'm running on low battery again. It's so annoying to have to work from, you know, your bed. And here we are bouncing yet again. You can see this one. This is just choppy. It keeps trying to make new lows, but it's, it holds up, you know, it held up here at 290, then 293, then 293, and now 295, and now 3 ish. So you could say that it has higher lows, except it's, you know, I kind of picture like a bouncing ball. Like, yeah, it's going to keep bouncing, but eventually it's just going to peter out. And when it cracks, it's going to be glorious. It also has lower highs, too 334, 318. 312 ish, and now let's see if it can break past 312 or 318 or, or 330 ish. Um, I just don't know how much is left. Why are there so many sirens in my neighborhood? I live in the richest neighborhood in, in uh, Miami. There shouldn't be sirens here unless there's a drug bust because I live next to like some Colombian drug lords, which could happen. <laughs> Seriously. Uh, Anyways, now you, you know you have some buyers. There, this is like a bouncing ball, and I'm just going to pause this. I'm going to pause this video lesson until you know there's more signs because I, I really just want you to see what it's like, you know, when it cracks. So when it's threatening to crack or when it is cracking, we'll come back. But there's no point for me making like a freaking 10-hour video lesson because the longer the video lesson, the less people will watch it. And I want you guys prepared, but I also want you, you know, watching the whole thing. So. It's just a waiting game. I'll pause this video right now. And uh, right as I say that, it looks like it's getting a little weaker. All right, let's give it a chance. You see that? So like this is going to build up. There's going to be more sellers at 306, less buyers at 305. It's a tug of war. So now 305, this bounce is kind of weak. So even though there's trades at 306, the fact that they're not leaving makes this stronger. So now it's a battle between 305 and 306. You see there was a big seller at 305 and now more big sellers. So now the odds are that it's going to come down again. So will this time finally crack 3 and 298 and 295 and 293 and 290? I don't know. Let's see. It's only 11:13 in the morning. So it's tough for this to crack midday, but then again we saw uh, what was that that pump that I showed you earlier? It wasn't NXTH. NXTH cracked at like 3 p.m. What was the first one in that chart? EMG cracked in the morning. I can't even think of it. What cracked right at noon? Oh, HHWW. Um, so maybe this cracks at noon. You know, now we're testing. Remember, just a few minutes ago, it held at 3. So let's see if it can break below 3. That bounce was pretty freaking weak. I have so many orders in to short, you know, more at... I just put limits at 265, 275, 280, 3, whatever. I don't care. Just small orders, just to try and average up a little bit. Um, and here we are at 302. Remember the bottom was at 3. Now we're at 301, 302. Let's see if we can take out the 3s. I don't know if it has enough juice right now. Well, we took out the 302s, now 301. So it's just a gradual process. And this all started when 305 got taken out. This is why I like watching every tick. You know, small, small uh, price moves of just a penny or two can indicate big things. 
Now we took out the 302s. That's impressive. You can see some sales at 301 and 3. Look at that. 47,000 shares at 3. We just took out some big buyer. Let's see if it can break below 3. It couldn't do it just, what was this, like five minutes ago. Can it take out 3? And it looks like it can. You know, when you take out 50,000 shares, so now it's a new lower low as of five minutes. And some people might be like, that doesn't mean anything. Well, for me, it does. I like lower lows. So this might crash. Remember, it has support at 295, 293, and 290. If there were shares of short, I would be shorting a ton right now. A ton. As you see, it's taking out 299, now 298. I don't know how far it can go, but you know, normally I would say wait until support is cracked, but with this thing, once 290 goes, if you try and short at 290, you won't get executed until like 250. Um, that's how quickly these things can collapse. That's why I'm short ahead of time. That's why I seem freaking crazy risking, you know, losing 50 cents a share because I know that the downside is like a dollar or two dollars. See, now we're just going down a penny at a time, 297s. It's not panicking yet. The game is not won yet. But it's definitely, you know, I'm down 10 cents a share. So I'm down 600. I was down 3,000, unrealized. I risked it. And I know some people are going to want to be dip buying right now. Do not dip buy this. Now look at the big seller, 25,000 shares. Let's see if we can take out the 96s. Let's see what the chart is doing. You can see this. This is like a bouncing ball, and it's just about to fall off the cliff. When it takes out this level at 293 and 290, The more times, you know, an overextended pump tests cracking, eventually it's going to crack because some short seller or some market maker is just going to be like, screw this, I'm just going big because you're not scared. The only reason you wouldn't short right now is if you're scared. And, you know, given how it's faded in the face of all this promotion, shorts aren't scared right now. I'm not scared. I'm, I'm pissed that I can't find, you know, more shares to short. I was almost going to shut off this video lesson at 305, but you saw the indicator when it took out 305. Now it's testing 295, 294. Remember, it held support at 293 and 290 last time. So hopefully it can hold. I don't want this to crack, remember. But I, it's not my choice, you know. Fortunately, I am short a little bit. I, I've been in a situation where I'm like, please don't crack, please don't crack, please don't crack when I have no shares to short. Um, at least I have 6,000, you know, using the IB trick that I, that I taught you in prior video lessons. All right. So lots of, lots of orders at 295, but you see the bid isn't collapsing. It actually just got stronger at 296. You see there's some, some dip buyers who think that it's going to try and dip or try and bottom here. Or maybe the promoters will try and bottom it here. I don't know. There's also a lot of sellers and it's not bouncing. So despite these people buying at 296, it's not exactly encouraging when the 295s get taken and now there's orders at 290, which is support. So this is about to get crazy in my estimation. Uh, we have seven minutes left of video here. So hopefully this can crack 290 here so that you can see the crack live and you can see it collapse. This is now a 45 minute video lesson. Now there's a big seller, 22,000, 21,000. This could get ugly. Can I add? Can I add? No, I'm going to change my orders because I just want to get, you know, anything. If I can get an extra few hundred shares, I'll make 500. I'm still short my 59.73. Here we are at 291. You can see the momentum picking up. Someone sold at 280 and 285. I mean, this is collapsing. This is it. This is my little profit lead. This is where I type GNIN collapse is on. Thankful to be short 6K. Wish I was short 10 to 100 times as much. This is how you make the big money. Damn you, you little scalpers who are long and about to be crushed. There's so many people who are long this. Look at this. 
Timothy Sykes, I fucking love you. I'm banking right now. Hedgehog, how many are you short? I don't even want to watch it. This is just going to be a bloodbath. 270s. <sighs> what would you do if you could predict the stock market? Huh? Would you keep it all to yourself? Would you run a ridiculous size hedge fund? If I was a market maker, I could short as many shares as I want right now. I wouldn't have to teach you a goddamn thing. About to go red. But no, I like teaching. Hedgehog loves me. He's short 100,000 shares, bruh. It's just fun to be there for the crack. Now you see how this thing works. You see how this was predictable. This is why people will say that I'm a scam or that this isn't replicable. Well, look at this. Watch this 45-minute video lesson. You see it just eating through it. It's about to go red on the day. Please, guys, I hope that you, when you watch these videos, you can freaking get inspired and actually study. Let me tweet. Gian, I uh, told you so in a DVD from five years ago. Glad to be short. Silly promoters. Too many people long, same as ECAU, MJNA. Very sad. It's the same exact pattern that, I, that I've talked about in every single DVD. And the sad thing is many of you guys aren't prepared because you're not watching these video lessons. You're not joining my tra trading challenge and watching the webinars. You're fortunate that I'm doing this live you know, video. 258, look at it just collapse. I was fully prepared. I fully prepared you guys. I've been talking about this all morning. I've been talking about this for five freaking years publicly. I've been doing it for over a decade. This is predictable. This is replicable. This is how you make money. This is the only way to make a ton of money in penny stocks. The only way, and I know many of you guys are long and it disgusts me. It disgusts me. God, look at this thing collapse. I'm banking. I'm up three grand. Should I be happy? Yes. Am I happy? No. I want more. I want way more. This could go down to two. Do I cover any? No. Because I'm not even going to make that much. It's so, so ridiculous how freaking predictable this is. And it's so ridiculous that so few of you even attempt to watch all my video lessons. I know there's 800 of them, but guess what? You have nothing better to do. You're watching shitty Hollywood movies, terrible TV, you're living your miserable lives, and I'm sorry, maybe you guys have some perfect lives or, or decent lives, but your life could be better if you're short this stock just the way that I am right now. This video is gonna end in a minute 30, this could go down to under two. Once again, you'll see exactly how I make my money. You'll see exactly what I need to do. If you wanna find shares to short, all you need is my preferred brokers. Unbelievable that nothing changes, nothing, since the very first DVD that I made five years ago. <sighs> I'm up $3,000 right now. I could take it, but then I'm not going to be able to reshort, and I'll actually still be down a little bit since I lost 4000 being too early on Friday. So I'm not going to short. I'm not going to cover. I'm just going to hold. And if it bounces, so be it. It doesn't even matter. You guys don't watch the video lessons either way. All I can do is yell at my freaking laptop, travel all over the world, meet the most interesting people in the world, hang out with the most beautiful women in the world, and still, I still can't find dedicated students. It's freaking ridiculous that only a few of my students are short this stock right now. I know Eric Wood is. Congratulations to him. I don't know if Tim Grittani and Mark Crook are. Maybe they are. They're making 20000 a month. Eric Wood is, you know, up 30000 already. 2013. I just want more of you guys. And maybe this will bounce a little bit. But this was predictable. This drop is predictable. This is just the beginning of the drop. You can see this chart pattern. What do I have to do to get more of you motivated? 
join my challenge, take the challenge, actually want to become a millionaire and do what it takes to become a millionaire. Here it goes even more. I'm up, gonna be up 4,000. God, this is beautiful. It is. So GNIN has crashed. You can see that I'm up 3,000 in this screenshot, but it's delayed. It's actually down to 210. I am banking nearly 4,500, wiping away my losses from Friday, 4,500. Let me close half just to lock it in, just so that I can show you guys. I know several of my students are short and they are banking too. Um, the rest of you guys, I really, I really don't know what to tell you. Um, it, it's the same pattern. You just need to be prepared and, and you need to learn from all my DVDs and video lessons because studying the past helps you prepare for the future. I just covered half at 205, making 80 cents a share. Um, I still am long or still short, so I'm going to cover another 1500. Probably, let's see if we can crack two. down to 204 now I'm also just seeing how long it's gonna to take to get executed um, but this is it you know where you can make 30 40 percent it's just a question of how many shares I got executed 1500 more at 204 just locking it in just because again I'm not going for the maximum dollar profits anymore because I'm not graded on that I'm graded how good of a teacher I am and hopefully with videos like this I can show you how it's possible to make so much money in 15, 20, 30 minutes. Um, you know, this, I'm gonna have so many videos of, of just me making, you know, a few thousand dollars in a few minutes. I also think this might bounce a little bit too. I don't know. Let's see. It's so freaking beautiful. This is why penny stocks are so predictable. Good. Now it's coming down. You see all the sellers here. And the buyers here, this is probably going to go under too. You can see some sales at 199, so I don't need to cover. Um, you know, you can see how quickly this thing dropped off. Now the chart changes. Once it cracked 290, it was gone. That was this. That was the sign. You know, uh, it's uh, the, the the breakdown point was predictable. Everything was predictable. The whole freaking thing was predictable. Let me just cover the rest, just so I can lock it in. I don't need to. I'm just going to. I'm really just going to at this point. I'm so disgusted that only a handful of people are getting this. I wish that I could teach, you know, so many more of you guys. And I got it at two. So I just locked in. How much did I make? It might go down to 190 or 180. I made 4,700 in 15 minutes, 17 minutes. I just sent, if you have ever doubted me in the past, GNIN proves beyond a shadow of doubt my strategy works. Now up nearly 4K. And I probably should have held again, but I'm just so, you know, pumped that you can make this so quickly. Why can I not send this? It's beautiful. I mean, it's absolutely beautiful that this works over and over and over again, and you just need to be prepared. So I shorted at 284. I covered at 202. Just absolutely beautiful. You all should be profiting here. Same exact pattern as in my DVDs, video lessons. And sadly, only my trading challenge students. Millionaire challenge. This is what the millionaire challenge is all about. I challenge you. I challenge you to actually learn. Banking as they're the only ones dedicated enough to study all of these patterns and be fully prepared ahead of time.
nice 5,000-ish profit on GN IN. Thank you, promoters, for being so predictable. What it, what, I don't even know what, what percentage gain that is. What percentage gain is that? 0.82 divided by 2.84. 30% gain. And again, now it's like bottoming. You know, I got the meat of the move. Maybe it'll come back up. I don't care. This is what I teach. This is it, boys and girls. Okay? This is what I teach over and over and over again. And you could have bought this. I know several people who have bought this, you know, on the way up. It was actually a, quite a nice buy. This is a stair stepper pattern straight out of my Penny Stocking Part 2 DVD. I know several Trading Challenge students and Inner Circle students, namely George Dunn. I know George Dunn was, was skiing at like Mont Tremblant and he texted me and he made like 3,000 from like the top of Mont Tremblant. Awesome. Bellissimo. Fantastic. There's money to be made on the upside and the downside. I prefer the downside, that's just me, I'm a cynical bastard. Um, but you know, I'll, I'll post this video lesson, just like I post all the other video lessons, but you guys gotta watch them all. You need to be fully prepared. Every pump is a little different, um, slightly, you know, and, and the more experienced, the more comfortable you are with them, the better you'll do. Um, you know, nothing is perfect. As you saw, I was down quite a bit, I didn't get nearly the amount of shares that I wanted, you know, this is this is the kind of stock where I could have made literally a hundred thousand um, dollars, and now it's bouncing. You see, um, up to two hundred five. So my cover at like two hundred two was actually pretty good. You know, I missed the bottom by like a few cents, and probably tomorrow it'll go down to the ones. But the point is made. That's the key here. Okay, and I know it's it's, it's weird that I'm I'm not like oh I need to maximize my profits. Okay, my business is teaching. I need to maximize my student profits. I have a totally, totally different priority list than almost any single trader out there because I believe that my students can do better. I don't know how Eric Wood did. Let's IM him. And Eric, you know, where we're IMing, he's, he's, he's cocky. He's made over $600,000. Let's see what he's saying. He's up 30,000 already. He made 10,000. <laughs> there we go. He made a dollar a share. He found 10,000 shares to short. And now you can see it's bouncing. I only made 5,000 or less than 5,000. My students can do better than me. That is what you need to take away from this. He's been trading for less than two weeks, two years, <laughs> not two weeks. Yeah, and he's still covering. So he's still got a little to learn. But because he got more shares to short, you know, I'm not the only one finding shares to short. That's the beautiful thing. People think, oh, Sykes, you, you do this, you have special connections, you, you find the shares to short. No, anybody can find shares to short. And I explain the brokers, I explain the tactics that I use, I just covered right at the bottom or near the bottom. Uh, you know, I show you every single step, but you need to study. That's why being a trading challenge student is so important because you get homework assignments, you get weekly webinars. It's pounded into your little brain so that you don't forget. Because sadly, I can teach you guys, some people watch a DVD here or there, some people watch like a video lesson, but you don't really take in the whole, you know, too many people were scalping this, buying this at 310 and selling it at 320 and saying, haha, Sykes, you're wrong. And I just made nearly a dollar a share. I wasn't wrong, okay? I was prepared, they weren't. And that's the sad thing. Eric Wood was prepared, he just made, $10,000 in an hour. <laughs> fantastic. Absolutely fantastic and sad at the same time. This is why I show both sides of this because I'm so pumped that this is a repeatable pattern, this is predictable, and you can bank again and again and again, and some of my students are, and it's also sad that more of you guys aren't. So I'll keep making these video lessons, I'll keep teaching, I will create a millionaire from scratch. One trade like this at a time. This is how I made my money. You know, I made $3 million in the market. My students have now made $6 million. You can see every single trade. And we do it just $2,000, $3,000, $5,000, in Eric Wood's case, $10,000 at a time. And now it's bouncing a little bit. I'll try and reshort it if it bounces enough. But the big money, the easy money has been made. It was fully predictable. Watch this video lesson. 
Watch my video lesson about DOMK, about MJNA, about ECAU. These are all the same exact patterns. These are pumps. This is the beauty of penny stocks. And I will talk about it and hype it up as much as possible until you realize how beautiful this is. Thank you guys, and I hope to find you dedicated students. If you're dedicated, contact me, timothysykes.com slash contact. Send me an email. Say, Tim, I fucking want to be a millionaire. This is how you do it. See it. So uh, the trade on GNIN is done. Um, I covered too early, as you'll see in a second, but I made just over $10,000 for the day. Um, I moved on to a different stock, a, a much better stock. Um, but I want to talk about GNIN endlessly because my students made over 40000 so far, as it turns out today. Um, and it was predictable. And, and this is what I said at 9.24 a.m. Uh, this is why I love Profitly because we have timestamps. And I said, GNIN bid ask coming down. This was when it was at 290, 289. Reminds me exactly of HHWW when I was going long, going to the crash day. That was a mistake. And then shorted 35,000 shares at 270. It dropped to 130 that day. Come on, repeat. Um, and if you look at HHWW, this was the chart pattern. This is from a blog post in 2010 that I refer to often. A seemingly unchanging million dollar profit stock market pattern. If you do a Google search for million dollar profit pattern and Sykes, you'll be able to read it. And this is what happened with HHWW. Uh, I believe this was in 2010, maybe 2009. It was a while ago. Um, and, you know, this was, it, it was kind of fading like all morning long. And then at noon, it fell off a cliff at two, 280. And you can see it went down to 190, bounced a little to two and, and finished at 130. And when we go to the chart of GNIN, you know, it really puts things into perspective. You know, obviously it was, you didn't have this big drop back when I was doing the video lessons, but it was kind of doing nothing. I said it was toppy. I said it was like a head and shoulders. And we saw the clear crack pattern was 290. And that's when it fell off a cliff. Um, and I got kind of heated, a little angry, uh, because I was like, look, it's falling off a cliff, you know, and I covered into this choppiness uh, at two-ish. And I thought that I did pretty good. I made 30% nearly $5,000. Uh, I knew I wouldn't be able to get back in, but I wanted to just lock in the profits. And as it turns out, I was, I was way too early. Um, as usual, you know, had I waited like another, what is this, another hour, you know, I'm covering in the 150s, so another 3,000. So I left some money on the table, but it was the exact same thing, and it, and it had the same indicators, even pre-market. Um, just to show you how predictable it was. Congrats to, I want to show uh, a few uh, chats that I saved. Elkwood, who's my top student, he's now up, I think, over 700,000. He made 14,000. He did better than I did. Um, Jackal, 13, he locked in four, 1,400. He still has 600 in profits, so he probably made like two grand. And Kobe Bryant, who uh, his real name is Christian Lutch, he's another uh, trading challenge student who I, uh, I profiled in a blog post. He's from Switzerland. He's still net short 10,000, and he'll remain short. Uh, he said that at, at noon. Um, so I think he was short around three-ish, and you know it closed at 145-ish. So he made 15,000. So 32,000 between these three students. And I know there's more people like here's Tyler. I only got 400 shares, but I made 400. Um, you know, a few other people they're just wishing me like well wishers. Um, Forest Rail made 12,000. Uh, on ECAU, so that's pretty sweet. And uh, Broomhill, this is this is a crazy story. He shorted at 2:35 Friday, and he was scared because obviously it went up to like 3:30, uh, but he held and he covered his 8K at 164, so he made like 6,000. So what is that? That's uh, 32,000, 44,000, so 50,000. Yeah, my students made 50,000 today. Um, that's awesome. And these are just a few students. Um, and then I made 10000 So it was a $60,000 day. And, and none of us had big enough positions. None of us timed it perfectly. Um, it, it was all just, it was just there. Um, you know, the, the money was there. And I really wish you guys would study these charts and, and DVDs more because the, the secret to the future is, is hidden in the past. And I have cataloged so many of these things. I mean, if you look at the daily chart, this looks straight out of penny stocking uh, part two, or the penny stocking framework, or the new rules of penny stocking, or Tim Tactics. Um, so many of my DVDs. 
and it's all predictable. And I know that sounds crazy to say that the stock market is predictable, but it's just true. Um, you know, and you either want to learn or you don't. You know, I have no time for people who just want hot picks. You need to learn how to do this because everyone's a little different. But once you learn a few basic rules and it'll take you like a year or two, you have this knowledge for life. It's an infinitely better education system than college where you're going to school for four years. You're trying to just get a job. You're in debt. I hate it. This way you're making money right away. You start learning right away. You have access to all the video lessons, all the DVDs right away. That's what my trading challenge is. And you get special webinars. Uh, you guys in the trading challenge get excited for a awesome webinar tomorrow. But congrats to those of you who, who uh, contributed to the $50,000 in profits today. You know, this is great. And, uh, I'll do another video lesson about the other stock that I, I, I predicted a perfect breakout on. Um, it's not all about shorting, you know, and, and that was a very nice one. They had a press release, and uh, this is getting to be a long video lesson, so I'll cut it off here, but congrats to everybody. Those of you missing out, please, please, please consider this. It makes no difference whether, you know, you join or not to me. I mean, well, I'll still make you money. My students will still be making money, but I want to create a millionaire from scratch. I, I'm just looking for dedicated students, so hopefully it's you. Thanks.